Hello and welcome everybody. In this series about business driven test automation, we have seen how to create business scenarios, implement our keywords, data drive and parameterize our tests and how to edit and manage them over time. Links to the previous videos in this series can be found in the description below. In this video, we will discuss our automation run reports. You have already seen how to execute a single test case and see its run log. Let us examine the run log of the test case we created and executed in detail. It shows the total steps executed, total time taken and success rate, which right now is 100%. You can also see each step of the test case executed here. The data picked from the data file is indicated in these yellow rows. Clicking on the step expands it where you can see the function called and the parameter values input. Clicking on this will expand it further to show you exact steps executed within and you can even click the step to go to the exact line of code in your script file. This comes in handy when analyzing failures. Now you obviously will not need just a single test case or scenario for your project. You can extend this scenario file by adding more test cases and also creating more scenario files pertaining to different areas or features of your application, just like I have done here. Now you may need to run these tests in a bunch, for which you can go ahead and group them together in suites. To do that, you can select the files you would like to add to your suite using these checkboxes and then click Create Suite. Select a data-driven suite. A suite file is automatically created having the names of all these scenario files. You can now save this suite file. You can also add the start URL of each script if needed. For us, the start URL is the same for all of these scripts, so we can skip it. Let us play back the suite to see the result. In the playback dialog, you will see that the default playback mode is parallel. So our scripts will begin running in parallel, going to a maximum of five threads. We can change this number to reduce or increase the number of threads allowed. Let us go ahead with the playback. You will see all four scenario files begin execution. Their test cases are executed using their respective function libraries, data files, and accessor repository. And it was successful. Let us see the run logs. This is the suite report. You see here that four scripts were executed as a part of the suite. You see run times for each and the detailed pass fail status. You can click on any of these to go to its detailed report. And there, see the test cases run, the steps, and their details. Now let us see an example of another project. For a banking application related project, I have created and implemented a number of scenarios. I have also created a suite file with the names of these scenarios. In a suite file, you can also add tags against your script or scenario file names. This allows you to control execution during playback where you can specify which tags to run. You can also define dependencies between scripts, as I have done here. I want to execute the transfer funds test only if the beneficiary test is run successfully. For this, I have added it as a dependency by specifying the name of the dependent script in this column. Sahipro will then take care to only start the execution of this script if the dependent script runs and passes. Otherwise, it will be skipped. To know more about suite file features and functionalities, follow the documentation links provided below. I will now execute this suite. In the playback dialog, I will enter the tag names that I want to run and then click Run. My scripts are executed in parallel. And as per the dependency setting in my suite, the transfer funds script runs only once the beneficiary test script runs and passes. Once completed, we see that the suite run failed. Let us now go to run logs. In here, you can see that three out of the total six scripts failed. 
you can see their names and click on any of these to see their details. Whenever a suite fails, a good amount of time may be spent analyzing the test results to find the core problem. Sahipro provides you a detailed suite analysis to see a collective analysis of these scripts and their failure reasons. You can analyze the reports and pinpoint the source of the failure very easily. So in here, step gives the first step which has failed. Click this to see the failed step in the script. Number of steps failed link gives the total number of steps failed in the whole suite. Click this link to see all these failed steps. This tree structure shows all the scripts and functions called in between the failed step and the script that got failed because of that step. So in here, you see that the three scripts failed due to a single specific step that can be easily located. It becomes very easy and fast to fix and rerun your suite now. You are also shown a failed scripts history which shows the history of the past run results for the failed scripts along with their pass percentage. It helps us to keep track of failed scripts over time. So there you go. Isn't it super easy and intuitive? You can now go ahead and create test suites, run them and analyze their meaningful logs and reports using Sahi Pro. Check out more details about playback options, suite reports and suite analysis in the links below. Thanks for watching.